Welcome back to San Antonio Living. If your first glimpse into the world of burlesque was back in 2010 with this movie, well, I'll tell you what, it has come a long way. And if you're interested in burlesque, this weekend is your chance to learn all about it. We have a huge burlesque festival in San Antonio, and we thought we'd give you a glimpse into all the goings on. Joining us this morning, Jasper St. James, co-producer along with Gage, also co-producer mm -hmm. of the festival, and Coco Electric, who is the 2010 New Orleans Queen of Burlesque. I love mm -hmm. all these burlesque names you all have. Yeah. Is that sort of like a prerequisite? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> honestly, it's kind of the hard part of right? burlesque, coming up with a clever name that's going to stick. You I know? love it. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about the Burlesque Festival. A lot of people are involved in this art form, and it's grown very big over the last couple of years. This is the third year for the festival yes, in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what goes on at the festival. It's a variety show. You get everything from burlesque, classic, and neo-burlesque, which is kind of like the more... Um, 1950s, 1940s okay. style, and then you get the newer style of burlesque, including men, boylesque. Boylesque? Um, yeah. Tell me about boylesque. <laughs> I enjoy that. It's, we get to, we have Waxy Moon, who's one of our headliners for um, Saturday night, mm -hmm. and Stefan, who's our reigning San Antonio king of burlesque as well. Okay. Um, and they'll be performing on, uh, Stefan will be on Friday nights, uh, Waxy Moon on Saturday night, and it's just, it's really fun. It's a male interpretation of burlesque. That's like the San Antonio And that's our reigning burlesque. queen right yes, there, Miss Olympia De Winter. <laughs> I love Olympia. She's very close to me here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the different art forms, because I know some numbers or routines involve fire. Some yes. involve working with ginormous hula hoops or hanging yeah. from the sky. How do you choose what you want to sort of do? You know, the San Antonio Burlesque Festival is all about variety. Mm -hmm. And if we didn't have that stuff in our show, it would be a total snooze fest. Oh, so okay. <laughs> it's always good when there's you know, yeah, it's, the sky. It's so <laughs> it's it it adds to the adrenaline rush for the audience. Um, and yeah, I mean. Uh, Gage right here. She now, does. Tell me about your, your show. What do you do in your number? I usually do a lot of the side shows. So I'm one of the people that do a lot of the fire eating. And then this year I'll be doing a little bit of the pincushion act, which oh, I... Oh, sounds dangerous. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's what, I mean, we all kind of do our own little... Little your own little thing. Yeah. Okay, Coke Electric, tell me about, first I just like saying your name, uh, <laughs> but tell me what you do in your number. Um, well, I, I don't do the pin cushion. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not yet. Um, I, I celebrate classic burlesque. Okay. So um, I've had a great opportunity to study with uh, the burlesque legends from the 50s. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we do a little strip tease, a little classic strip tease. And um, uh, I have a dance background, so I'm very physical and very, uh, lots of tricks and fun things and uh, stocking peels and glove peels. Oh, I learned a glove peel once. It was oh. quite interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's many ways to take off a glove. really, you know, it, it's about celebrating yourself, celebrating your body, getting out there and doing what you guys love. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking perhaps I might come to one of these workshops. If not, can I get yes. a little workshop right now? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you guys teach me a little yeah. feather boa action? We're going to hand you off with this guy here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hold and these Coco will instruct Ooh, you. Okay. Absolutely. You Thank you. Okay. Okay. So what do we do okay. once you have a, a, a boa? Well, um, first off, the proper place to wear a boa is here above the elbows. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. Hold on. There it is. Yes. And we want to cover up our goodies. Okay. The goodies are covered. The goodies are covered. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we want to sell it. What's in there? <laughs> What's in there? Oh, that's a good tool. We want to... Attract attention to this right? general region, a little like swirly. This, a little of there that. you go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this one side uh -huh. up and we're gonna be like, ooh, Woo! we're gonna show you, we're gonna show you. No, we're not. Come I love this boa. Oh yeah. I need to get one. It's like a pet. When do you start like doing a little shaky part? Oh with well, your covering. With the well, like that's that's step two. Well the thing is, this creates movement, mm -hmm. okay? So the feathers. Oh, hello. Movement. Looky here. Looky here. I feel yeah. like a bunny a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and the twirling is a little bit of movement. And then when we're ready to show off our goodies a little bit. Look what we have. <laughs> and that's when we shake it. Yay. There it is. Thank you. I'm, I clearly have no future in this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so 
much. <laughs> such fun. All right, I want to give everybody the details on the Burlesque Festival because there's a lot of different events going on. Happening at the Josephine Theater Friday and Saturday. Doors open at 7. You can go to San Antonio Burlesque Fest. Dot com, like that, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> and we've got a giveaway for you. We're going to send you to the Burlesque Festival if you're caller number four. Ooh, backstage passes, 470-5444. Call us, and those are yours.